like no gunshots, but they get in low, low. Hello everyone and welcome, this is Revamp Gaming and in today's video we're going to be discussing another really good topic that's been in the community and it's actually the same topic but uh, I'm just actually going to be going into it in a little bit more depth um, because there's a lot of people that have been wondering things about it and I just want to offer my opinions and I don't know, maybe shed some light on it or maybe just give some views and opinions and things because uh, people have been saying will next will uh, pre-gen, sorry, uh, be forgotten now that next gen's out in terms of DLC and things like that and like I said in the last video there's two simple answers, yes and no and I think yes because it will be left out as they want to focus more on next gen because that is what the game is and the game is ab absolutely amazing on next gen and I I don't have it but it looks amazing and I think I'm going to get it, I don't know uh, but uh, the DLC for that and the things that have already been added in are amazing, like the Duke of Death, uh, the Neons, and things like that. And like I said in the previous video, I'm no gamer and I'm no game designer or coder, but surely for some things like that, like a light under a car, couldn't be that hard to add in, or maybe a livery uh, for a car like there is on Sanchez bikes already. But you know, guys, it's it's a different in in some respect in t some terms. Sorry, it is a different game, and in some terms, it isn't. But I just I think that somewhere along the line, pre-gen users will be left out a little bit. But until we do see a decline in the quality of uh, DLC, and if we do, then the answer is no. So a couple of things that I want to be discussing in this video are things that pre-gen users have asked for within the community for Rockstar and NextGen have received. Now, some things like this I really don't think are fair because there was a lot of pre-gen users that wanted neons i think just about everybody wanted them and next gen users have gone and got it and i don't think that's fair because if there's pre-gen users that still are on pre-gen and aren't getting next gen and they want neons then i think that's a bit unfair of rockstar to do that i think that we have been left out and i think that was a really bad decision for them to make because uh it, it can't really be that hard like i said i'm no coder or game designer but Surely it could not be that hard to add a floating light under a car or something like that. Um, but I just think that Rockstar could probably have added this into the game easily. Um, and I feel that it's something that would actually change online. I know a lot of people, including myself, want to show off with Neons. But we can't really do it because we don't have them. Uh but yeah, it's like, and other things guys, like liveries on cars, I'm not too fussed about that, personally I don't like the liveries, but, you know, if other people want them then, you know, surely Rockstar could meet some sort of uh, thing too close to that, if it's not a livery then maybe some form of decals or something, I'm not sure, but I'm sure that now I've mentioned that people will start saying it and then that'll get put onto next gen as well, but well, you know guys, um, but there's a lot of things and obviously obviously the big one first person can not be put into pre-gen the, the pre-gen consoles are just not designed to handle that um and that's just a feature for next gen that actually makes it next gen and makes it different from the rest of uh from from pre-gen um but yeah there is a lot of features um the the game for next gen gta 5 for next gen is an amazing game it does look a lot better and there's a lot of new things um for it and what I would actually like to see is when it, they've added it in next gen as well, but I don't know. It's there's a lot of cool stuff in next gen that could be added to pre gen, and I think that it's unfair that Rockstar have either not done this or they just aren't trying to do this. Um, because the GTA 5 community on pre gen will eventually get bored a bit, and hopefully we won't see a decrease, uh, a, de a decline in, in the quality of DLC that we're receiving from Rockstar. Um, so that that should keep the pre-gen community happy and in all fairness yeah i hope it keeps me happy and everything but there is that like i said guys a lot of people are wondering are, are we going to be forgotten about now and i would really really love to say no but judging by the past couple of dlcs and the lack of dlc at the moment i really do think yes because we had the 1.18 update and that wasn't really that didn't really have anything all that was to do was patch glitches but mainly 
to add another patch on so that they could add another patch on to next gen now i know you couldn't you can release a patch for next gen and a patch for pre-gen separately but i think that rockstar just wanted to up, uh, release a patch for both so both consoles were updating getting rid of some glitches and things like that but i just think that s somewhere along the line rockstar will s begin to forget about us and when that happens i think the pre-gen game for grand theft auto could become really really bad um and another point i don't know whether this is just my mates messing me around it probably is but it's just something to look out for guys and in all fairness rockstar probably could not do this because in some terms and ways it is against the law because my mates told me that uh, after a year of it being on next gen rockstar are gonna cut the pre-gen servers for online which yeah they could do it but in all fairness like i said it is against the law because we've paid for the game we're, we've paid to come on these servers and they're taking it off us which isn't allowed um someone if that happens someone could easily go to somewhere like trading standards and report them and rockstar could be sued but i don't think rockstar would do this and uh, they couldn't do this i don't think because of that uh, and i don't think they would want to I'd want, i think that they would want to keep as many people online as they can play in the game uh because this is the biggest selling game uh for a couple of years now uh i think the pre-gen version sold millions of copies and next gen has sold millions of copies already sorry and the the game all in all is amazing and i just i re i do think that somewhere along the line we will be forgotten about but somewhere along the line also i look forward to see what new ideas they will bring into pre-gen uh gta because there there's only so much you can do with pre-gen gta because it's um not as not as advanced as next gen you can't add things like neons or stuff but i want to see what new ideas that they would come up with that are within the boundaries of the that were within the capabilities of the pre-gen consoles but guys these are my view for uh, views thoughts and opinions if you want to leave yours down below then feel free to do so also uh, tweet me on twitter or comment on the facebook page as well for them and just uh, just leave your opinions guys because i want to hear them as well and i think it'd be good that rockstar saw this you know just so we could get across how we're feeling so maybe they don't do any of what like don't cut the servers don't uh forget about us things like that but guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you're new uh, or you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button if you think the video deserves a good rating if you think it deserves a bad one then go ahead and leave one but please do not spam it do not make several accounts because that's just really really uh silly and it's not needed at all um but guys i've been revamp gaming i hope you did like the video i'll see you in the next one adios